Welcome to Dynamo using Python to isolate an element in a view. The first thing I want to do is uh, get a Python node and delete everything from it and get my Visual Studios with my IntelliSense. I have a video if you're interested in how to get the IntelliSense. Um, and I'll just go ahead and get the Revit service um, and this will be my um, to get the document. So I'll go ahead and get Revit service persistent uh, and I'll go ahead and import the document manager. Uh, same thing, the transaction. Uh, that way I can make a transaction using the transaction manager. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and import the uh, Revit API which I'll need from Autodesk. So I'll import Autodesk from Autodesk Revit.database and the star means that I'll just go ahead and import everything. Um, and then I'll go ahead and import the system system collection a dot generic so I'll need to get a list and an array um, so I'll just go ahead and import that uh, from here I'll get the document manager um, and I'll go ahead and get the instance and I'll get the current uh, database document uh, which I'm working with which would be the, the the document or the file that I have uh, which I want to work with and then um, in the active view, I want to get the uh, element, so I'll do a filter element collector um, here. And from the document, I want to also uh, get just the uh, document active view elements so here I'll get the active view and I'll send in the ID because that's what this method is asking for um, and then I want to get of a class um, and I'll just isolate the walls in in my view of this document and I'll go ahead and send this all back to uh, as an element so now I have a list of elements here um, one thing that I need to do in order to work with this in Dynamo is unwrap the element from the Revit API. Uh, so I'll go ahead and use the send the elements of the active view uh, and I'll just unwrap them. Uh, the next thing I want to do is get the active view uh, which I want to isolate and again um, this is coming from the Revit API so I need to un unwrap the um, active view. So I'll go ahead and get the document active view. Um, and then I want to create an empty list of IDs because um, the elements which I have unwrapped right now in Dynamo are um, complete elements but I need the ID uh, from the method which I want to use for isolation. Um, so here I'll iterate over um, my items from the elements um, and I'll just go ahead and loop over it so for every one of the elements in the items I want to add append them to my IDs um, empty list so I'll just be adding them to it uh, here I'll get the ID elements uh, and then I want to cast them into an array So what I'll do is I'll send my list into an array of IDs and then I'll just send in my list. Now I have an array of element IDs. Um, the next thing I want to do is start my transaction. So I'll go ahead and send the document which I'm going to do the transaction. So here I'll do the dot view which will be the active view that I want to isolate. Um, and then I'll do the isolate elements temporary uh, which will just isolate the elements which I have sent the IDs in. Uh, which I casted from the, what would have been a number or an integer to an element ID. Um, and here I'll just go ahead and, and finish the transaction uh, and make sure that there, the transaction will do an undo so in case something happens I can undo it. Um, and the transaction manager for the instance um, I want to make sure the task is completed. 
Uh, so I'll just go ahead and copy that there, um, run it. Uh, looks like I got a bug here. Just kind of, you can always check the line where the bug is. Um, and it looked like it was, uh, oh yeah, Revit API. I think, um, right, no space. Let's double check this. Looks like I'm iterating over the um, item, which is not really item, it's items. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just copy and paste this. And I'll go ahead and accept. And I'll just go ahead and run it and isolate it. Um, this was a, um, a subscriber's request. I hope this helps him or answers his question. Uh, anyways, for more Revit API and Dynamo videos, please subscribe and let me know what you'd like to watch. Thank you.